All right, guys. In my last video, I showed you guys that the mother, she was the mother to the babies I was posting. She was over here digging, or looked like she was laying eggs. Looked like she has completed, so I'm gonna go in here and um, go ahead and collect the eggs and get them set up, put them in the incubator and everything like that. So take you guys along on the ride again. So stay tuned to the finish. I just moved the mom out the way. She's right there. And from the angle, she was laying the eggs this way. So I'm just going to start digging here. As usual, you guys go ahead and make your guesses on how many you think it is are going to be. Good amount of eggs. Well, it's a lot of eggs. I didn't think it was going to be this one. She didn't, she didn't look that big. But that's it now. Alright guys, so we can go in and get these guys separated. Take your final guesses now. If you wasn't counting when I was pulling them out of the ground. But yeah, let's go get these guys set up. Alright, we got the eggs. I'm going to be putting them in this little deli container. I um, always poke a little hole on both sides and about the same spot. See one there, one right there, 
and then I use vermiculite in here but before I do that I'm gonna go ahead and label label the box uh, with the pairing it's only one male in that in that enclosure so stitch is always the father in that enclosure stitch times and that was Pandora and then I put today's date which is 723 21 I believe it's 723 mm -hmm. let me check real fast well I was way off at 727 21 so in about around September 25th, something like that, they should start hatching. And speaking of hatching, the Lacerda eggs, I've seen some, oh, let me get this flashlight. I've seen some of them leaking. Well, I've seen one of them leaking. So they should start hatching soon. You can see that one right there. Has the condensation on the outside. It's just a baby in there moving around, cutting, putting little holes in the egg, getting ready to make his entrance into the world. And that's the only one I see so far, but the other one should fall in line soon after. Uh, let me get back to the other beautiful dragon clutch. So Stitch is the father. Stitch is a hybrid. He's one quarter Barbada, three quarters Pogona Viticeps, and Pandora is a just a normal um, Viticeps, Pogona Viticeps, and um, she's quad head for hypotrans, Wiblet, and Zero, and Stitch is head for trans, Wiblet, and Zero. So the best thing you can get out of here is a translucent Wiro. So, yeah, I come over here. You know, everything jump, jumbled up right now. Got a lot of stuff going on. I'll explain to you guys in a little bit more detail on everything that's going on. Once I settle in. In a later video. But I put, I fill it up about halfway. That should be good right there. Now I'll put a little bit more. And I got a big 50 pound bag. I mean, not 50 pound, but big 25 pound bag or whatever it is. It's a giant bag. All right, and it's two ways you can do this. You can do it by feel, which is the way that I do it, or you can do it by weight. And by weight, what you do is you Put how much you want in here, you weigh it, and then you match the same weight and um, water. So say this was 12 ounces of vermiculite. Um, when you pour the water in, you want the total weight to be 24 ounces. So I do it by feel though. I feel you put water in and you wanna uh, get it to a consist uh, consistency, a consistency that when you squeeze it like this, it doesn't fall apart, but it doesn't leak water as well. So it'll be more like this right here. See, it's not leaking, but it stays in the same form. So I got to get the rest of the container to be to that consistency. And then we can go ahead and put the eggs in. So I'm going to add some more water to it. And while I'm mixing around to make the, make sure the water is going thoroughly through the um, vermiculite, I'm actually feeling for that consistency as well. Right now I poured too much water, so I'm going to add some vermiculite to it.
going right there. The sub so it's a little bit too high than what I like it, but it's enough room for the eggs, so they should be fine. So I'm packing it down tight to get as much room on top as possible. Because the eggs are gonna expand. And I'm gonna go back over here to the eggs. And what I do is candle them. Candle them is putting a light to the egg so that you can find the um, embryo in the egg and make sure that that is facing up. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Alright, I got my flashlight. I'm going to set it up right here. And then what I do is I take the eggs and I put it to the light. What I'm looking for is a circle. Sometimes it's red, sometimes it's clear. But right there you can see it. Let's see if I can get a good angle on the camera. Right there, in this area right here, you can see it. I'll hopefully find one that's a little bit more bright so you guys can see it on camera well. Then I put a little indention in this um, medium. And Put that that mark facing up. And then I continue to do that for the rest of the eggs. If I find one that has a real bright nucleus or um, embryo, uh, I'll turn the camera back on. But right now I'm just going to rush through this off camera and turn the camera back on once I'm complete. Okay, here's a pretty good one. You can see it right there. But so right here, see the circle pointing right at it. That's the embryo, and that's what you want to face up in the egg. Bearded dragon eggs are unlike um, snake eggs, so you can move them around. Oh, there goes a good one right there. See that one? Right there in the middle of the screen. It's a circle. So these eggs are fertile. You can you can tell by the how they look most times if it's fertile or not. But so you just candle them to make sure that the embryo is up. Go another one. All right, so I'm gonna continue off camera and turn it back on once I have it all with the final count. All right, guys, so I finished putting them in here. I had to put these two at a little weird angle, but it's a total of 27 if I counted correctly, which is one less than her first clutch of 28. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these guys put in the incubator. If you incubate incubating bitter dragons, you want it around 82 to 84 degrees. So I try to keep it at around 83. And um, in about 58 days, the dragons will hatch if the eggs are fertile. Um, so it's important to make sure you have the right amount of moisture inside of the medium, the incubation medium. And to put the embryo facing up so that the embryo doesn't drown. So we will, re we will revisit this cut clutch in about 58 days. Um, so we're looking around September, end of September. And speaking of September, I'll be doing a Pomona Reptile Show vending there. So if you guys are in the area, are going to the show make sure you guys stop by and say what's up to me i'm gonna go ahead and get these guys in the incubator and end the video here um i'd like to thank you guys for watching if you subscribe thank you for that as well um if you're not um at least hit the like button i appreciate it and it helps me a lot until the next video you guys have a good one and see you guys next time